This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. My name is Ossie Godwin, and of course, I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shunke. Yeah, it was good, it was good, it was good, it was good, it was good. How are you doing? Blast, Morning, and blast, and blast, and blast. Great weekend. Amazing. Mm. Mm. Want to fill us in? It's been a while. Uh, ah, what did you do? It makes sense. Oh, oh, well, That's yeah. the Owali. Oh, mm. Ah, it's entered the body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, a lot. A lot, a lot of things are missing since the COVID-19 days. Yes, whilst you're observing social mm. distancing. <laughs> and, um, yeah, yeah, but I think things are beginning to ease up a little mm. bit. Like, <laughs> his face. His face is eased up. <laughs> <laughs> things are beginning to ease up a little bit. So, mm. yes, um, this weekend, Saturday. Fri there Saturday is still COVID-19. No I know, I know. That's why I said, whilst hey, you... Hey, whilst, <laughs> mm. whilst still observing social okay. distancing and um, keep sticking, adhering to the NDDC mm. rules, you know, washing my hands, wearing my face mask and using my sanitizers mm. and all of that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hacks. Okay, please let's move on. Mm. But before we get into the conversation of the day, yesterday was our producer's birthday, and yes. I mean she's an integral integral part of the tea time team. So happy birthday, belated birthday wishes to phone care um Andy. Thank you for all you do and thank you for being part That's of the team. We appreciate you. Drum roll on tea time. Mm. Like, we just do this and it's yeah. over. <laughs> but that went yeah. on and on. That's to show you how important from Very care and the mm. And yes, she's um, the plug to this show. She's I mean, the tea in the time. Ha, okay. Ha. Well, no, I'm the tea in the time. Let's 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 take it. Ah. Ah. Calm down. Wa wa I'm the tea in the time. Well, I'm yeah, the time she's... in the tea. Tea time. Anyway, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um. I think I, I don't even know what to say, but happy birthday. I wish mm. you all the best. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. Yesterday, Big Brother Niger, the lockdown season officially kicked off yesterday, 19th July 2020, with 20 housemates. The fifth season of the biggest reality show in Africa will be housing Ozo, V, Prince, Lilo, um, Chikiti, Lucy, Kid Waya. I don't know how that name came mm. about. Then Dorothy. Praise Wathoni, Tochi, Eric, Bright, Erica, um, Keisha, Neo, Tol Tolani Badge, um, Lekon, Nengi, and Kena. And of course, up for grabs this season is a whooping 85 million naira worth of prizes. So, mm. ah, so who is your favorite housemate so far? I mean, Tony Badge. Mm. Tony Badge. Tolani Badge. Tolani. Uh, uh, you don't even know the name of your face. Sorry. Wow. Uh, Tim Badge is what I can choose to call her. Because I'm about to choose. Three, uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. okay. Wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> but um, this is based on just yesterday yes, introduction. So we don't know what they would do in the house before yes. you before they disgrace me. Honestly. Now you say it's Elsie's fave. Hey, this is just based but Tolani, on. Tolani, T badge brought a whole vibe, um, a classy like, vibe, very classy vibe. Mm -hmm. Very even when she when she like they asked her like, "What's your type?" I'm mm -hmm. like, "Girl, preach," because that's essential. She was like, "He has to have traveled out of Nigeria, ah. even if it's next, even if it's Ghana, because she wants exposure. She wants." somebody who has mm. who doesn't have the, the Nigerian, Nigerian, basically Nigerian 27, traditional yeah. whatever and then the person must smell nice and I think chocolate or whatever sha, sha, sha. I, think I, I'm pick, I think I'm your guy tea badge uh, at least yeah. you go to Ghana yeah I'm your guy, tea badge. Okay, Ignore so that. for me, so you have a, boy, a girlfriend, remember? Assume you. Ah, but for me, like you they're, not, they're not open relationships, you oh, know? Oh, so <laughs> you can have an open Can I just be in an entanglement with tea badge? Uh, uh. Tea badge, I'm your entanglement guy. Have you guy. guys opened your relationship? Up? No, but entanglements uh. are allowed. Okay, anyway, for me, of course, Tolani badge comes on that list and. Um, What's her name again? Dorothy. Dorothy. I love how she was carrying her. Are you sure it's just even when, was when no, no, no. Herself, even or when, the things she was no. carrying. Even when I think the stylist did her dirty, mm. I mean, I don't know what that outfit was yesterday and how too many things were supposed to be out at the same time. I, I'm, I'm one of those when it comes to my fashion idea. Choose I feel one. like if up is exposed, then down should be covered. Mm. If down is exposed, like, I mean, that's how I feel. It might just be me, but they just didn't do her well. But I love how she carried did she wasn't bothered about anything mm. she was so comfortable in the overload and i'm like <laughs> oh my god yeah overload. so yeah and then for the guys i don't
don't understand. I'm not a fan of light skin guys. Like, mm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm Ozo. not a fan. Is he so, no, no, no. We have too many light skin mm. guys in the house. Too I many, actually. Because of that, so people Prince are calling became it my fave. Yeah, because right. a lot of be a lot of evil people in it. But they are your people, so yeah. you're fine. Yeah. Well, were, we had Yoruba people there. Yeah. It's okay. Me yeah. and Yoruba and Ibo, so both yeah. of them. Nengi came with the Tasha vibe, but yeah, let's just leave it at Prince because he's a dark skin, chocolate looking guy. Different, yeah. I think for the guys. Badge and, um, but the guys is Kid Wire. Kid Wire oh was my. Kid Wire. I just Kid Wire is a, he's a what's the name? A fitness guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kid Wire was. Oh, <laughs> mm. uh, okay. So for me, I can't remember his name. I just he just keep after talking what, about. What, 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 what did he the wear? The guy that said he's antisocial. He doesn't fit into society. So what's he doing? T something. What's his name? Somebody should help society? me. T something. Yeah. V though, V okay. is my favorite oh, girl. This Tricky yeah, Tricky T. Yeah, I think it will be fun. Tricky yeah, T will, will be, be so much, yeah. much fun. Yeah, and let fun. me tell you the thing. Two days after, Tricky T is lying down on the floor. Tricky T is sleeping. We'll see. The we'll Let's see. Well, I hope so, though. I, I hope he doesn't do that because um, one thing I admired about him was mm. the way he broke the norm. He doesn't actually fit into society. I'm not saying what he did was right, but in a way, it's right. How, yeah. What, what, what when he about? said that if he goes to the mainland, people no. on the mainland think no. he's a No, 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 no. Not that. That. So what did he do? You know, the first person that got into the house was Ozo. Mm -hmm. And um, Ozo was forming this social distancing mm -hmm. and all that. But you guys have been quarantined for 14 days. Mm -hmm. You've all been tested. Mm -hmm. You came from the same venue. It's just right that at least introduce yourself to your fellow housemates. By shaking. Shaking. Or if I, you can't be too careful. I can't blame Ozo no, for I, being I, No, I get it. From the point of living in the quarantine or isolation anything center. Anything could have happened. To get that's into... Oh, I don't think he's been living with anything. Anything could have happened. The whole time. But then... That, you no, can't no, no. That's what I'm not saying. No, you, you remember what I said. I said I'm not saying what he did was wrong. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of of absorbed like yeah. coming into a place where you want to be accepted my right? guy has long life to live <laughs> <laughs> well you know what Tricky T did they, they were like already like four housemates in the house but as soon as he came hello and he just had his open arms that's somebody that just wants to receive new okay, people well, let's see and, then, yeah. and then mm. relax mm. then mm. afterwards mm -hmm. That was when V was like, we can all get each other, right? Yeah, we can. And before you knew, everybody was arguing and shaking. So I was like, yeah, that's my kind of guy. Mm. And um, Tricky T, I think V has one. a nice body, but she doesn't know how to carry well. So I don't mm. know. V shape yeah. is on point. Well, she's, she's slouching and acting like... She's not comfortable with what she Then I like the fact that she's also yeah. born and bred in the UK, but she still mm -hmm. has this Nigerian vibe going mm -hmm. on. You know, unlike some people that I can actually tell that okay. you have not left Nigeria, but uh, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Can you talk about Nobody money? likes Lekon. What's happening? Our Nepa guy. Our uh, rapper. Uh, the, <laughs> the guy with the old lights going lights on. Lights on his shirt. The Okay. Uh, Look, I, hear he's trending, good, though. I, I, I heard I heard he's very talented anyway. So yeah, let's we'll see how it goes. So. Anyway, just know that the tea time crew will be looking out for everybody in the house and giving you some tea when we think necessary, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on. Founder of Davido Music Worldwide, David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido, has added Akime Yokum Awodumila, aka Medi, to the list of artists signed to his DMW record label. An excited Medi took to social media to make the announcement by writing, quote, my new family, I'm so excited, while sharing um, the DMW logo. Hmm. What do you David think about this move? He's a troublemaker. Mm. That's one thing. I'm I is he a troublemaker? No, in because a, the in history a very good of, way. He's not really trouble. He's helping you, some Yes, people. that is why uh, I said he's a very... Everything is political, my guy. He's a troublemaker in a very good way. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I can deal with that. In the sense that come on, when everybody is trying to put somebody down, he's lifting them everybody. up. Everybody. Or when people, most people, when most people are trying to put somebody, or maybe their previous, their past mm. is trying to keep them. But he them. actually let the noise die, die down before he did this. And no, you know why? You know, no, one thing is that David o has been quiet though. Mm -hmm. David o hasn't posted on social media since he said, if you cannot reach me, you can't reach me, mm. you unfollowed everybody. So David o has been, he's been quiet, but not been quiet because mm -hmm. we've been seeing other posts, there's speculations that he's in America presently. Mm. So people are actually living <laughs> this Nigeria. Nigeria. Uh, if you have money, money yeah. the is just pretty expensive. Yeah. Yeah, in a private jet and ex and all that. And he went with his old. No, if it was just David Doe, I would say okay. He left with the old crew. How do you know? 
Because the, the video, there was That's a video, video said, that came out on oh, his birth, on okay. Whiskey's birthday. On Whiskey's oh, birthday. He was in the plane and he wasn't alone. This, okay. And then he was also with Icebox, um, his jeweler, mm -hmm. in America as well. And mm -hmm. everybody knows, obviously, for you to be with Icebox, this is not Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So there's been speculation that it's out of the country and all that. But one thing I admire about David O is... I miss the whole flame, dust, and all of that. It just tries to make something happen for other people. So I think his mantra, we rise by lifting others, is something he actually believes in and is not for clout. Mm. Because I think it's something that he believes that if he does this, he's helping other people. And that's the only way. And that's why I see good things happening for the guy. Yeah, but because he also has to be careful. Because I'm like you started with when you said it's, it's a troublemaker, quote unquote. Is that they, I'm sure that. As, as much as we want to make it look all lullabyish, there's still tension behind the scenes mm -hmm. with with him signing this person. So I'm really hoping two things that came into my mind is that this person actually doesn't fall the videos hand down and actually produces good music and keep the I standard of I think I was going to bring Global Lower into the mix that it's a good encouragement for me because I was a it was a good song and stuff. I'm not really feeling his new look. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it looks Wait, ridiculous. Look. Yes, looks really. But his music is nice, and you know, it's, it's coming back on social media slowly and things like that. And I guess it's also just proved that in the right hands, you can actually go really far. Mm -hmm. So. And, and then there's also this conspiracy theory that he's just doing this to spite Sparrowzy because um, Mehdi is also known to be a very solid songwriter. It's written. Why for would if I did some conspiracy theories, you're not even supposed to bring it on this table, like. That's he, he, because Peruzzi is the good um, music stringer, right? And they, so they, and they haven't beef. No, no, they haven't beef presently. He has unfollowed oh, yeah. Peruzzi. They are not speaking Peruzzi. The has also has unfollowed, unfollowed him. him as well and well, all that. So that's why the conspiracy right. theory came I mean, there's a connection there. Oh, well, we'll see how that goes. But for me, I'm just hoping now, this is to Meiji, that he has read all the clauses and signed all the papers and knows what his rights are and what his rights are not. Because mm. we don't want to hear another story mm. that touches the heart I'm next week I'm and not say, uh, he did not sign... At least it's not the video that announces you. are the one that came to announce that you are signed and you joined the family. So I hope you have you are really signed. Come out and say, I haven't you, signed. You know, so I'm I don't, hoping, I don't even pity him because it's not the first time he's signing. So you cannot give me uh -huh, that. JJC so he needs vibe. to like, understand. And I just hope he's smarter now. Focus, he's not right. living in boys' quarters with the drivers and the chef. Well, yeah, the video doesn't have that things. history anyway. So no, I'm just saying it's, that it's I hope good. he's smarter now and he's going for his money and not his posho. Mm, his posho will not age. be abused. Okay. <laughs> I hope he's not doing that anyway, but good luck to him and kudos to David Doe for at least I think he he norm, he has kind of mastered the art of seeing the good thing even in the midst of um um terrible uh, terrible mm. things. So he even did that with himself with that song that people were laughing at him. I don't know if you, I can't remember the song whiskey right, and, and then he brought something amazing hey. out of it. So I think I like whatever ideology he's ruling with, it and it's a good vibe. At the end yeah. Of the tunnel. Mm. Mm. Okay. Tea time continues right after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I they see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Right oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. Like, I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Oluwato Sinajiba, the founder of Empower Africa, launches a $20 million um, Africa music fund. The award-winning music artist, popularly known as Mr. Easy, says he wants to create a new funding model for the music business on the continent, stating that one of his primary motivations for funding music is to provide financial support for artists to expand their catalog. He went on to explain that many investors and financial institutions don't understand 
understand the business of music and as a result are unable to properly fund musicians. Speaking to CNN, he said, and I quote, artists cannot go to banks to get money for their music because financial institutions don't understand how to secure intellectual property. They get it for physical properties, but not for music, end of quote. According to him, selected artists will be given funding depending on their revenue and projected incomes using metrics such as streaming revenue. I like um, the... Um What's it called now? The technical part, the tactical part of the statement he put, in the sense that a lot of financial institutions do not even recognize what intellectual property is and how much money they can make from it. Because if you're solidly behind an artist, the fact that his song is being played for 30 seconds in any movie is old money. The fact that he's in a club and they're playing that song is old money. The fact that a hotel is playing that music in their lobby is old money. So if a lot of people see the business aspect of the fact that your song is just playing on the street randomly in a regular bar, right? That artist deserves a level of royalty. Intellectual property in the sense that you see a lot of people that, in fact, most of them, I think we saw something like that in... Um, his Excellency, or what's mm. that movie now, when Kachi's music was being played during the political rally. And he sat back, he said, oh, okay. oh, because he knew how much he was going to get from the fact that you were using my song. For, but a lot of artists these days are just cool with the fact, ah, that's exposure for me, mm. they're helping me, they are, my music is going far, this person is using... But no, the fact that they're using your song for certain things, you deserve to be paid. I think mm. Mm, I think uh, the, the art industry is very complicated because... And I, First of all, I have to give credit to what's his name, Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy. I think sometimes, eh, because I I'm guilty of rubbishing musicians when they when somebody comes to me and says he wants to be a musician, I'm just like, okay, go and get a job. Um, <laughs> for real, that's just my my attitude. But for for me, the people that made me stop um, music. what's it called? Watching Mr. Easy and how he has been able to really um professionalize yeah. the music industry is really is really cool for me um it's, it takes a lot of seriousness he's still showing education he's still showing intellect mm -hmm. he's still showing some ground and all of that type of stuff so i really respect that i have to put that out there but it's not it's not i don't think this message is for to to um ridicule the financial industry for not knowing it's a global thing that being able to um, uh, monetize art and creative spaces is very is very tricky. Mm -hmm. um, for the implementation of these of these things, to be able to say when a club um, 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 plays my music, how do I know when the club plays my music? If it's not reported, who plays it? Um, because you are allowed to, in Nigeria. Exactly, there's a difference this between a DJ so from, um, playing the music that has the right to play those music. There's a difference when it's on YouTube playlist. There's a lot of complications that go into that. So it's not as simple as that. But I like that the conversation is happening, and I like that. He's, he's also looking at the finances and the structure, the business structure for these artists because nobody else is going to do it. I feel like because it's so hard, coming from an artist who understands the work is like the best person to mm. be able to do that. So I really like what he's doing. I, I, I and Another thing is I mix up Empower. I already have Empower from the government. I'm not sure if it's the same one now for the youths. Like right now, you can go and register. No, that's N Power. Yeah, Listen, that's the name. Power. Yeah. M P A W A. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I know that the names also like no. confused um, people a bit. But he's on his kind nice. of Ghanaian. He has a Ghanaian to Empower. Yeah. So it's nice that he's doing all of that type of stuff, and I think yeah. we need that. Yeah. Mm. Kudos to him. I like and, what um, he's doing. I also like that he. I mean, he, for you to understand that he, this is a properly thought out move for him, of course, knowing the music business and being part of the game, mm. they are also going to launch a streaming platform. I think that's what you call it. Is this Cinch? Cinch something C I N C H mm. for them to also be able to track the revenue and people can also use their own platform. So he understands what he's doing and mm. I like that he's doing it because a lot of upcoming artists need this fund. And trust me, even the people we call A list and that they're established, yes, yeah. there are times when they need funds mm. to push an album. I was talking to someone who, of course, I'm not going to mention the name right now. This person is already big and you think, why would you be needing money to push out mm. a new album? But they needed huge money and they were looking at going to collect, I think, about 40 million naira from a bank. And of course they were not going to get that funds because the banks like you said don't really understand mm. what it is or how they are going to get their money back mm. but if they can plug into 
a platform like this, then mm -hmm. of course it will be easy for um, um, someone like Mr. Easy or the platform to look at and this artist and mm -hmm. the artist um, value in the market and the amount of streams that can come in and understand if putting in the amount of money into this artist's career is something worth doing or yeah. not. You know, so and this is I another this. reason why we should have our arts regulatory bodies such as Cousin to work effectively. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because um, if they are really working, then this artist necessarily do not have to go out of their way to no, we play my music. These people should naturally register. The moment you open a club and yeah. you know you'll be playing artists, mm -hmm. you should register with Cousin and know that there's something yeah. I'll be paying monthly. Mm -hmm. Even if it's bargaining, mm -hmm. this is how it works in other countries and I think it should work like that. And also, conspiracy theory again. They said this is off the back of his um, streaming that he had over millions of views and got very little change. Yeah. So they said he's also doing this to make sure that things like that don't happen again. Yeah, I mean, okay, okay. that's cool. Sense. Tea yeah. time, we'll would be right back after the short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Rapper Young says has explained why he moved around Lagos with armed security. He says it wasn't to protect um, himself from fans, no. It was to protect himself from the police who are supposed to be protecting him. Um, according to him, apparently having a luxury car in your 20s is a crime. Hmm. It's understandable where he's coming from, but... Um when you have those security details, you use it to bully others. Do you need to use it to go and transport other people from their houses to a police station because they offended you or because mm -hmm. you feel you're offended? Is that you, what he does? I'm no, saying, it's do, I'm yes, saying, yeah. like, okay. do you use it to mm. oppress other um, drive, um, drivers on the motorist on the road by saying, oh, I have beep, to beep, go for a beep, beep, and then you're using all that, you know, the whole siren or getting your detail to come down and be passing so that you can pass one way. Mm. Is that what you're I will never move because one Nicoba me if I jump somebody. <laughs> so is that what you're using it for? But where you're coming from is understandable that okay, yes, we know that police harassment is true. Is is what we've been experiencing yeah. as youths. Once you have a flashy car, once you look good, once you're wearing chains, once you're doing this, they look at you and they feel like yeah, hey, front boy, you're hush puppy number two. So, but that is not the case in most scenarios. Some of these people just need it. So it's not necessary to protect yourself from fans, but are you true to thyself mm. about your security details? I have to, I have to agree with you. In a long time, I'm agreeing with you, Faye. <laughs> but I agree with <laughs> the you. The weekend was amazing. Yes, it was. It I was. done I something right to, to, you, yeah. to you today. <laughs> Please I'm, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> How is your girlfriend, Sha? Uh, oh, no, you're laughing. Whoever it is, just do it. It, it wasn't even anybody in particular. It was people. It just, okay. Ah! Mm -hmm. people. You need to go and... Please make your quarantine. Your yourself. Um, <laughs> yes, I like I like that you brought that up because I still see it as, a, as a, like an abuse of power. Is the police supposed to be giving personal details? So it's like you're making one problem to then fix... An, mm. By fixing one problem, you're making another problem. No, he's using sec I'm, I'm security details, not the police now. Like, I think private. From what I got from it, I think he's using private Because he said I'm using the police. Okay. Not the police, no. Okay, okay. Mm. Because uh, that's another thing I've, I've always kind of like noticed here. That yeah. some, and, and, and I understand that even if he did use the police, we don't even have the right structure anyway for the right thing. So every time I want to complain about a civilian doing the wrong thing, I don't see how else that sometimes you can avoid that because the people are supposed to be doing the right thing to set the tone 
has kind of failed to do that. So if he's not abusing whatever detail that he has and he's just trying to keep safe and he can afford that, I feel like, you know, you do what you have to do. I've always said it that in this country, unfortunately, we don't really have a government and you're on your own. So if whatever um, um, things you can put in place to be your own government, to give mm -hmm. you the security you need, to give you the health services you need or the access to whatever that you need, then sure, do it. I mean, yeah. it's unfortunate that our men have been criminalized and demonized to this extent i don't think we should be having this problem mm. but we do and there's yeah. nothing we can do about I that i think i also now. want to just reiterate that it's really sad that that's where we are that we mm. actually need to protect ourselves from the police forget mm. about being a young mm. sis and the attention that it gets i'm if i'm walking on the road and i see a policeman on the right side i'm crossing to the left side because i don't even want to have any form of conversation with them. They're Thomas, talking of catcalling. They, they do it more mm -hmm. than people that they're supposed to be the worst oh, yeah? people that will, yeah. yes, once you find girl passing them, a sister so, like it's just irritating. No, no. So when they call you, what do they speak about? Is it to extort money? Or I don't know. I them, to... so I don't know. The one that I've been in was not funny, and he didn't. It was one of those things where you cannot say, "Oh, sorry, excuse me, I'm in the mood," because mm -hmm. you know, so I, is... am I am not a police? Yeah. So wait, I, just... I, I need to understand the cat. What is the cat calling for? Do you want money? So you have to speak. So you have to call. No they have to ask the But we need to go on cat calling. But there's yeah. different reasons. So sometimes just to just to show just to authority. You. Sometimes they want, they want to get your number, and then you yeah. cannot uh -huh. say no. Yeah. Okay. Um, next time, get your badge number. For that's our wrap up for this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do join us from conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my interesting co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Yes, it's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please. Do stay safe.